My name is Macy Kasperbauer, and the Lord has really been growing me over the past couple of years. I would say I've always known the Lord. Um, I knew of Him, I prayed to Him, but I never really had an intimate relationship with the Lord until I stepped foot into Love Church and really understood that daily exchange that needed to happen, how you needed to get in the Word, be surrounded, really have things in a day-to-day, that He started to really strengthen different areas of my life. The one thing that I think He strengthened me the most in over this past year was my ability to hear His voice. There have been so many opportunities over the past couple of months that I've gotten the opportunity to hear Him very clearly and say yes to. Whether it's, how am I gonna volunteer at Love Church? Am I gonna be a Rev leader? Am I gonna start a Bible study? What am I gonna do, Lord? Hearing Him and then saying yes. We got the opportunity recently to share our marriage testimony on a podcast and just really asking the Lord, how much are we gonna share, Lord? How much are we gonna dive into our testimony and really get real and raw with the audience? But over the past couple months, I feel like He's strengthened me even more in not even just hearing His voice, but obeying His voice. And so um, over the past couple months and even years, there have been areas that I have really haven't had a cleansed heart and I really kept at arm's length. Um, I feel like I wanted to do it in my own strength. Like there were areas where I just said, you know, Lord, we're gonna, our family's gonna get baptized. We're gonna get baptized and I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna be completely cleansed. I'm gonna be changed and healed and it didn't happen. Or Lord, we're gonna fast for three days and at the end of the fast, I'm gonna be a completely transformed person. And the Lord made it really clear that even though I wanted to be healed in private, that He really wanted me to confess these sins to people because that was an area of my heart that wasn't cleansed yet. And so he gave me five people that I needed to confess this to. And the very next day I met someone for coffee. I confessed my, you know, what was on my heart, this area that that needed to come out. And I went from completely transformed tears of shame and guilt and hate for the things that I was doing to this place of tears of joy and freedom and just complete happiness. Um, I remember crying that whole day, just being so free. My hope for you is that at the end of the day, if there's something that you're keeping at arm's length from the Lord, that you draw near to Him, that you are faithful to Him, and that just know that He will never leave you and just have patience.